all right so exams are near and you all must be preparing for it you all must be giving your best for it you all must be following your schedule and you all must be doing the stuffs which were needed for qualifying the exam for preparation stuffs right but here i'm not going to talk about the strategies and all here i'm going to talk about something which i'm going like which i'm listening which i'm getting messages i'm getting feedback from a lot of students that uh, exam is near but still i'm not feeling to study i'm not willing to study like exam itne pass hai fir bhi padhne ka man nahi hai like i'm not feeling like ki exam hai exam wali feeling nahi aa rahi so that's what this video is going to be about uh, if you are one of them if you are one of them who is having similar feeling then please watch this video till end you can watch it at 1.5x in order to save some time right now coming to the con like coming to the issue that why exactly you are not willing to study before going into that let me tell you that these days are very crucial for you okay these 10 days i don't have to explain the importance of it but still you should know that these 10 or 11 days are very very crucial for your preparation in case if you follow some uh, sports or some athlete you uh, like you must be knowing it that in the marathon like when a marathon race is run it's a long race it's it's all about stamina how much far you can go with it but at the end when you are very near to the cross line when when you are just let's say 100 meters or some meters away from the finishing line in that case the athlete accelerates itself same way these these are the days in which you have to accelerate your preparation you were doing your preparation you were studying for it you were preparing you were doing revision you were doing questions you were doing all the things you were doing mock test and all but now is the time when you have to accelerate your preparation you have to accelerate your uh, strategies you have to give more time for your studies and those things you have to do now but why exactly you are getting distracted why exactly you are getting demotivated why you are not feeling like you are not willing like to study see there could be two reasons okay one that you are distracted you are not you like whenever you are about to study when you are about to sit to study in that case you are getting distracted out of it that is one thing second thing could be that you are having exam fear okay that these days these 10 or whatever 10 or 11 days are there what would i be able to do in these days their days are very less and i have not prepared enough these days are so less uh, what would be like what what uh, like what difference would i be able to make in these days that is the second thing i'll be talking about both of them one by one so first let's talk about distraction okay so let's say if you are getting distracted and distraction these days the majority or the the basic ad, a distraction which every one of us has even i am also getting distracted because of it is mobile phone right so your mobile phone your social media uh, like uh, instagram whatsapp all those things are actually one of the prime distraction which you have right now now these things are easy to take rid of okay what you have to do is you have to like you have to just uninstall it i know many of you might be having instagram pages you must be having facebook pages or places where you are having lot of followers with you and uh, it is like your your heart would say that if i will uh, like i will uninstall instagram i might lose my followers or I, or i might lose people around on that particular platform but like that is right now that is a secondary thing okay you can take that risk that you can uninstall that app because right now your prime focus or your your main aim should be this exam because you were preparing for it you have already devoted that much of time so you have to give a little bit of more concentration on it little bit of more focus on it and for that if you have to sacrifice instagram you have to sacrifice facebook you can do that okay so please do that first of all whatever distraction you have you have to analyze yourself Uh, it might not be distraction for everyone like people are there who use the, the social media with a very uh, like in a very uh, positive way in a way in which they don't get distracted out of their work but if you are studying and your mind is thinking about instagram or any social media platform that means you are distracted and in that case you have to uninstall it you have to get rid out out rid of it okay and one more thing that in case if your mobile phone is making distraction and whenever you are studying especially just keep your mobile phone away from it okay uh, just keep it away like keep it in another room don't keep it near to you uh, you might get distracted with a call or anything okay so that is one thing which you have to do stay away from the distraction this is a uh, technology based distraction then the distraction comes uh, from people around you it might be a cousin's marriage it might be a friend's marriage it might be a friend who has never called in a while and now he wants to talk to you uh, anything can happen okay people around you are 
interested to talk to you or they are they want to interact with you but just tell them politely that right now i have my exam and these are very crucial days i have to study and stay away from these distractions okay uh, if there is a marriage which you can avoid please avoid it unless until it's your own marriage okay so if you if you can avoid that definitely you can you should do that okay so avoid these things avoid these distractions so that uh, your focus shifts towards your study okay that is one thing and second thing is the second type of uh, problem which might be coming up in your uh, that feeling of not willing to study is the fear the exam fear that i only have 10 days what i will be able to do in these 10 days because i was studying for these many days and i think i am not getting anything i am forgetting whatever i am studying okay these all thought comes in mind that uh, yeah i was studying for let's say 3 months and i am forgetting whatever formula i am remembering whatever uh, equations i am remembering whatever uh, like uh, rules or whatever uh, reaction mechanism i have studied i am just forgetting everything what difference these 10 days are going to make like is like i'm not i don't want to study so that that's what your mind concludes but here you have to talk to yourself that actually you are not forgetting things see what happens that uh, you all have you all might know how to ride cycle right majority of you might know how to ride a bicycle now initially when we used to ride bicycle when we when we were learning how to ride bicycle in that case we were very focused on it we were focused on handles we were focused on the paddles that and we were like our handles used to shake a lot and we used to maintain a lot of fake focus and we used to put so much effort in order to ride that bicycle but tell me frankly after learning a bicycle like are you not comfortable with it now you can ride bicycle even with your with a subconscious mind that means when you are riding the bicycle you can even ride it with with one hand boys used to do that a lot even girls used to do but i am not encouraging to do that but i am just telling you that what happens that once you are in a particular process your mind just takes it to the uh, to your subconscious mind and in that case you are actually having all those information with you but you think that you don't know similar thing goes with the preparation also you might be thinking ki i'm forgetting the formulas i'm not getting it but when the exam will come and when you will see the question the the mind will reflect it back okay so that is totally one thing which is going to happen and for that if it's not happening what you can do you have to give effort these 10 days are not going to like these 10 days are fixed for everyone it is for you also and the one who is going to give uh, the one who is going to top in the exam for that person also these 10 days are same uh, how you are utilizing these 10 days are going to make the difference okay so there is one thing that you can just uh, like quit and just get out of this race and just give up on it ki i won't be able to do and the second thing is you fight for it you give your best you prepare hard you study hard you utilize these 10 days in a best way and you give your best shot in the exam so choose your side okay if you are someone who want to quit and believe me once you will quit over here you will yourself regret once the exam will happen after the exam you yourself will tell yourself that if what would have happened if i would have studied one week or i would have studied for those 10 days i should not have quitted this so that that guilt feeling is very painful it's very painful and uh, like when others uh, give you guilt now it's not that it, it doesn't matter much but when your inner voice give guilt now th that is something which is which nobody can console so that's one thing which you have to do you have to use these 10 days in the best possible manner you have to study hard for it you have to increase you have to accelerate your preparation and if you are not feeling uh, uh, like uh, for studying like if you are not feeling like to study in that case just give a small small momentum for your preparation or small small momentum for your studies let's say sit for half an hour stay away from all the distraction try to read that chapter which is favorite one okay read a favorite chapter once you get a little bit momentum give yourself a break 5 minutes of break and then come back again and then give again 10 minute uh, like half an hour of momentum and so on like in that way you will be able to give a lot of time to your preparation a lot of time to your studies and this 5 or 10 minute break is not social media break okay it's it's a break in which you go outside uh, maybe on your terrace or maybe on your balcony or in, in any open space and just take a walk and come back and sit and again study so like that you have to make small small progresses 
and in this way in these 10 days you will yourself see that you have actually made some progress and these 10 days were crucial and you have utilized them so the thing which i want to say in this video i have already explained in very detail the points which i would just want to make is stay away from all the distractions whatever distraction is there note it down and stay away from it okay just shut it down just cut it down from you so that it should not reach to you that is one thing second thing is uh, like if you are not willing or if you are not willing to study in that case sit and force yourself tell yourself the importance of this exam why you were giving so many days for it earlier and now what is the difference why why exactly you are you were preparing and now these 10 days what you can do from it okay make every minute every hour of this 10 days count okay make these make the best utilization of it right so sit give a small small uh, session for your preparation and accelerate your preparation earlier if you were studying for two hours double it up triple it up okay so that's what you have to do in these 10 days i hope this video uh, like finds well with you and if you are someone who was in a particular situation please do follow these steps and come out of it the exam is very crucial for you you were preparing for it you actually started to prepare for it and uh, now you cannot quit when you are so close to it right who knows these 10 days whatever you study in these 10 days are going to come in the exam and you might shine with a like you might pass with a shining stars so on that note i will just end this video so thank you so much for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one stay motivated prepare hard give your best shot in these days thank you so much hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much